All right, folks, let's go in depth on the ongoing crisis in Egypt. Let's bring in Alex Holstein. As you know, he is a security expert and counterterrorism analyst. Hey, Alex. Hi, how are you? I'm doing OK. I don't think the situation in Egypt is OK, though. Look, it's going from bad to worse. What do you uh, make of the situation right now? Well, uh, strangely, uh, paradoxically, uh, Cairo apparently is uh, pretty quiet right now, relatively speaking, and including uh, relative to its normal peaceful state. It's a pretty bustling city so uh, on a normal day. So uh, it's pretty quiet right now because of, uh, you know, we've had one major wave of clashes and violence between uh, the current interim government and uh, uh, protesters on the ground who are supporters of President Morsi. Uh, but it's still a powder keg uh, whose fuse is uh, well lit, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, in a, it's in a state of instability or potential serious instability right now. The Brotherhood has said that they're going to come back and, and uh, continue uh, clashing. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about that, because you're saying it's quiet, but uh, maybe eerily quiet, right? Like you said, it's still, it's still a powder keg situation there. We have more than 500 people dead thousands injured, at least that's according uh, to reports. And now we have the president of the United States, whose country sends more than a billion dollars in aid to Egypt on an annual basis, still falling short of calling the situation in Egypt a coup. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, the, the American government right now and, and Western governments have been pretty silent, uh, apart from the standard condemnation. Obviously, they're not going to uh, come out and, and cheerlead a uh, publicly cheerlead a, a crackdown of this nature with, with involving uh, such violence. But uh, at the same time, I think they secretly uh, hope that the that stability returns through whatever means and that, uh, and that this current government is the one that holds power, uh, I think, relative to uh, picking up a, a Muslim Brotherhood government that will be probably even more reactionary and, and extreme uh, should it come back to power is uh, something that the the West uh, is, is not uh, uh, that, that doesn't suit their uh, their their goals, so yeah. they're not going to support that. It's more but, than a uh, secretly the been pretty. It's more it's than a secretly violence. hoping situation, though, isn't it? Because President Obama essentially said he's canceling, uh, I guess, next month's military exercises that take place between the U.S. and Egypt, and he is threatening uh, to take further action if the military does not lift the state of emergency, which went into effect this week, and it's going to last, from what we hear, for about a month. Well, he has. He's, he's, that is significant. The uh, regarding the military exercise, symbolically significant. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, they haven't uh, removed the uh, over billion dollars in aid right. uh, that that uh, that uh, the U.S. supplies to Egypt every year. And I and I don't think that that's something that will come down happen down the line uh, unless things grow seriously out of control. And and I think uh, I don't think President Obama has assigned. Uh, uh, a deadline to any of the, the removal of, of the state of emergency or anything like that. So I think a lot of this is rhetorical and to and to keep uh, keep the Egyptian government, the interim government, on notice that you know they have to get this thing under control yeah. fast and it, and it can't be too violent. And there are pretty strong indications that this is going to get seriously out of control, isn't it? Uh, could we see a lot of analysts, your colleagues, are saying we could see a civil war here uh, that carries on for not months, but years? Absolutely. And it could be Syria times uh, times 10, which is Lebanon times 10 yeah. already. Uh, and and uh, the, the, uh, the, the situation in Egypt could be a lot worse. Let's not forget that al-Qaeda core uh, and the for during the formation of Al Qaeda was mainly formed by a merger between what uh, Osama bin Laden had already built in the 90s and Egyptian Islamic Jihad. Ayman al Zawahiri, who is the current leader of Al Qaeda, is Egyptian, former Egyptian Islamic Jihad. He spent time in jail during the Sadat years. So he's, he, these, these guys, Egypt is ground for them. They would like nothing better than to throw their weight into a major insurgency and probably even move resources if necessary out of other insurgencies in the Middle East to to, to go into Egypt. This, is, right. this would be ground zero for them. All right, well, let's see what happens. It's uh, ongoing chaos there in Cairo, and we're going to keep you on standby for further analysis. Alex, thank you so much for this. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. That, of course, bye -bye. is counterterrorism analyst and security expert Alex Holstein. He'll be back on Canada Live.